Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. And Marianne behind the camera. And welcome to Cavalcade of Food. Today, Mayor, we are going to look at a vintage appliance, the West Bend Bean Pot. And one of my favorite little vintage appliances. Um, and I think probably, thinking back, one of the first things that I started to collect um, when I got into this crazy hobby of vintage appliances. So I want um, a, a lot of our viewers, our food friends out there, Mayor, probably are familiar with these. Maybe they had one years ago, maybe their mom had one or their grandmother had one or they remember seeing them or they've just seen them around. Uh, there was a time, oh, probably about 25 years ago um, or so, or maybe uh, that I was seeing these everywhere in the thrift stores, at the uh, rummage sales and things like that. And they caught my attention. And not only have I collected them, but I've also used them many times. So these were all made by West Bend. And we're gonna start with this one, Mayor, because this is sort of the earlier version um, of the pot. And this is, let me, we've got an instruction manual here. But here was the idea. You had a, see it says West Bend on the bottom? Yeah. You've got a, glazed ceramic pot and it's brown and um, I don't have one handy but anybody who has a bean pot one that you would make bake beans in in the oven they're almost always brown this color this was sort of the color of a bean pot and so West Bend I'm not quite sure somebody made these for West Bend um, I'm not sure who but a pottery did, and um, by the millions, but made these bean pots. And so you had this ceramic bean pot. And in this case, it had a metal chrome plated lid with a brown plastic uh, kind of Bakelite type handle that went on the top like that. And it sat on top of this Essentially, it's a hot plate, okay? Um, it is a heat right base, uh, is what they called it, from West Bend Aluminum Company, 95 watts. So it got hot, but not super hot at 95 watts. Uh, and believe me, when you made beans in here, and I have made beans in here many times, uh, it takes all day. You better start early in the morning if you want them for dinner because uh, the beans really need to cook a long time because it's low and slow. But I also often say that these bean pots were sort of the um, precursor to the crock pot and slow cooker, which came became more popular uh, in the 1970s. But, so here you had a pot, you sit it on here, you put your ingredients in. Now the little instruction manual that came with it uh, tells you it's a versatile new appliance for many wonderful dishes and encouraged you uh, to use it at the table mirror if you were hosting a dinner party, okay? Um, to uh, keep it on the dinner table as a way to keep hot foods hot um, and ser at serving temperature. And we've got recipes in here. Old fashioned baked beans, of course, is the first recipe. Uh, and I have made this recipe before. It's actually quite good, uh, very traditional. And it says, uh, Plug in bean pot and cook overnight, nine to ten hours. I actually find it takes more like 
11 or 12 hours to cook the beans. Um, but then you've got a recipe here for Mexican style chili, vegetable chowder. Now here's a recipe for Boston style baked beans, oatmeal. Look at that, Mare. Did you ever think mm. of making oatmeal that way? No, I didn't. <laughs> Oatmeal, slow cooked and delicious. That's basically uh, old fashioned rolled oats, water, and some salt. Uh, and it takes three hours. So we can make oatmeal a lot faster than that on the stove, but it's just the idea of sort of this slow cooking. Here's steamed wieners, beef stew, oyster stew. Uh, what else? Prunes, Norwegian style. Can I put you down for some of those? Sure. Uh, anyways, a lot of great little recipes in here. And then on the back, it shows you ideas of how to use, aside from the bean pot, your base to keep coffee warm. As a, uh, If you have a West Bend bun warmer, you could put that on top of there to keep your rolls and buns warm. So... Anyways, that is the bean pot. Okay, then you got this one, which came after. Uh, and basically, it is the same crock. See, it says West Bend on the bottom. Um, you have the same 95-watt heat right uh, warmer plate. Uh, and the only difference is, of course, they change the glaze the, the, the crock is exactly the same. They changed the glaze. They put this sort of fun little uh, fork and measuring spoon design on the front. But rather than the metal lid, Mare, they made a ceramic lid to match. Uh, good idea. Um, it's all ceramic now. The problem that happened is a lot of times if you drop this lid, you know what would happen? It would crack and it, break. Exactly. Uh, and then you had to buy a whole new thing, okay? When you had the metal lid, of course, it didn't break. So you had to be a little bit more careful with this. But it was an all clay design, uh, which is very nice. And you see these a lot still. I see them around. And there were accessories that went with this. Check this out, Marianne. New ideas for happier homemaking. This is a set of four individual patio servers. So the idea is you're going to make baked beans or whatever in here and have it for a barbecue. And look, aren't those cute? Aww. These are just little matching, um, you can see, little matching servers so you everyone could have their own individual serving of the beans uh, in the crock. And so this was an accessory that you could buy. And I just jumped for joy. I don't, I've had this a long time. I don't remember where I found it. But uh, anyway, so that was great. And then there were promotional ones. So, hey, Mabel, another black label. The, here's one from Black Label Beer. Um, I don't know if you, re you remember Black Label Beer, Mir? I don't think that was your brand, was it? No. no. <laughs> Anyways. Um, there, this was a promotion where I believe if you bought, you know, so many six-packs or a case of beer and you sent in, you know, proof of purchase or whatever it was uh, for your next barbecue while you were chugging down your black label beer, you could make a pot of beans. Um, so they actually, you know, glazed these with the black label beer logo on it. And you could get one of that. Other than that, they're identical. So, you know, this is from the fifth, we're talking the 50s into the 60s, and West Bend was still making these into the 70s. Uh, although they stopped calling it a bean pot, and they called it a slow cooker. And in this case, it was a colonial 
croc. Check this out, Mara. Bicentennial edition. Now, we don't like to admit it, but you and I were both very much alive in 1976 when we were in our bicentennial year. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. I know you were just a wee thing. Mm -hmm. Um, But you remember how bicentennial crazy we were. Yep. It was a big deal. Those of you who were around in 76 and remember, the bicentennial was a very big deal. And there were a lot of bicentennial editions of things. And, you know, a lot of people were doing like an early American colonial kind of a look to their homes. The fur- Ethan Allen furniture and... Um, all that kind of stuff, sort of a Williamsburg look. That was all very popular. Anyways, West Bend got on the bandwagon and decided to take the bean pot and make it uh, a colonial crock. And here you can see, here's the lid, which uh, is a little different than these lids, and it's in a dark brown glaze, very similar to the original. And then here's the crock. And, you know, it is more colonial looking. And they have the fork and spoon, 1776 to 1976. So that's like an old colonial pub, I would say, um, logo. And what also is different about this is that now they're calling it a slow cooker. Because in 1976... Crockpots were everything. And so, but the problem was, is these, these although these did cook slow, it was a 95 watt, you plug it in, it's on, it stays the same temperature relatively the whole time, and then you unplug it and it's off. So they took the design of the heat right base, and look what they did, Mayor. They put a temperature control on it. So now it's variable, okay? So now you go from low to high. um, And let's see. It's now 125 watts instead of 95 watts. So it does get hotter depending on how you set it. So now they're saying it's a slow cooker because you have a variable heat uh, range on that. Here's the here's the little instructions and recipe. And of course they because now you have variable heat, it gives you an all kinds of well it still has the chili in the stew, sour braten, steamed franks, um, and then more soup options and Uh, Baked beans, steamed rice, steamed vegetables, things like that. Anyways, here's the whole gamut of these wonderful West Bend bean pots slash evolution into a slow cooker um, over the years. So there's probably almost a 20-year difference here from the first one to the last one Uh, but they are great and they do really make great beans and you know if you see one out at a sale somewhere uh, for a few bucks uh, uh, it might it's a fun thing to have Um, but anyways thanks for being a part of this one Uh, thank you for letting me share part of the collection here at the cavalcade with you I want to thank my sister, Mary Ann, for working that camera. You're welcome. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing everybody again soon, right back here. I'll remind you, the website is cavalcadeoffood.com. Everyone stay warm, stay well, and we'll see you next time here on Cavalcade of Food. Bye, everyone. Bye.